Hello, welcome back to Flip. So today we are on the uh, second part of the first chapter, which is the methods of purification and analysis. Uh, we have done the filtration uh, subtopic in the previous video. So now we will move on to crystallization and evaporation. Okay, so remember from, from our filtration video, we told you that uh, you can separate solid from solid. Okay, of course, it's not just two normal solid. One has to be non-soluble solid. One is soluble solid. Okay, so through filtration, you can uh, take out this one, right? This one you can take through filtration. You can obtain this uh, solid. But the soluble solid, you cannot obtain through filtration. So you need these two methods, which is uh, via evaporation and crystallization. Okay, so we'll be talking about these two uh, methods today Okay, to obtain this soluble solid. Okay, so for crystallize for evaporation first, uh, is to se separate soluble solid from its liquid. Okay, so imagine now you have it's uh, in a beaker. Okay, this liquid right here is made up of water and, for example, salt. Okay, so salt water you cannot just physically separate them with um filtration. You have to use uh evaporation, for example. Okay, so how how is it being done? Basically, you leave the mixture in the open or you can heat it up so which speeds up the process okay so when it heats up uh the water evaporates and what's left behind is the crystals okay the uh, sorry the salt that you want for example uh, in this case the salt nacl okay sodium chloride salt being left behind after water evaporates so it's here as well okay liquid which is the solvent evaporates and the solid is left behind. Solid is also called solute, okay, because it, uh, it solutes in, uh, it's a solute in a solvent, okay, so this is the difference between uh, solvent and solid, solute. Okay, so they are, this is very easy, okay, this one you should probably uh, understand it since you were young, okay, basically you heat, heat something up, water evaporates, and what you get left behind is the solid, but maybe just this one is a bit uh, new, uh, for example, if the solvent is toxic, okay, conduct evaporation in fume cupboard. Uh, that means because this one is uh, open to air, okay, so if you were to uh, put your face here, okay, and you smell in all the toxic fumes, okay, you will die, <laughs> okay. Uh, not, not exactly die, but you have severe effects on your health, correct? So what you should do instead is to actually do it in a cabinet, okay, so you can evaporate this uh, thing and this uh, the toxic fumes will be carried away by um, some circulation system outside. Okay, so it doesn't affect you. Okay, and also if your solid decomposes in heat, do not use this method basically. Okay, use crystallization. What do I mean? Because if you heat up your um, mixture, when the water get, gets evaporated, gets evaporated, the solid behind may also decompose. And that's not what we want, right? We want to obtain back the same a sample that we start with, not a new decomposed product. Okay, so these are two things to take note. So if really it happens, it decomposes, please do not use this method. Use crystallization instead. And that's what we'll be talking about uh, right now. So crystallization is a, is the same thing also, okay, to se separate soluble solid from its liquid. Basically the same thing. So this is my, for example, salt and water, all right? Salt is being dissolved inside, cannot get it, cannot get it out via filtration. So I have to use this method, crystallization. Okay, the principle behind this is uh it's maybe something quite new. Okay, the principle is that solid, okay, any forms of solid, like salt in this case, has different solubility at different temperature. At higher temperature, it has a higher solubility, lower temperature, lower solubility, and hence excess solute precipitates out and form your crystals. This is actually quite easy to understand if you compare it to our daily drink. Okay, not really daily, but have you drank this uh, this drink called Milo before? Okay, if you are Singaporean, or if you live in Singapore for some years, you should know what's a Milo, right? Okay, Milo is basically some um, cocoa drink, some uh, chocolate drink basically. Okay, if you were to pour hot water into the Milo, the um uh the milo powder dissolves easier am i right because milo powder it's more soluble at higher temperature 
But if you pour cold water, okay, to Milo, okay, what do you get? You will still get um the Milo itself, but you will find that some of them is not being completely dissolved. Okay, and that's what we mean by low solubility. Okay, hopefully this uh, idea helps you. Okay, and that is the same for uh, any salt that is being that is soluble in liquid. Okay, higher temperature is easier to dissolve, lower is harder. And that's why through this, uh, we want to make it as low as possible. We want to decrease the temperature such that the salt come out from it. Okay, so this is my liquid, for example. I want it to, when the water level drops to very, very low, I want my salt to come back up. Okay, and that is uh, via crystallization. Okay, how is the procedure being done? Basically, you evaporate the solution to remove all your excess solvent. In this case, it's uh, water. Okay, and to saturate it. Okay, saturate it means to make it a uh, very little water content, but a lot of solid content. And you cover the solution and allow it to cool. Okay, basically, all these steps will, uh, is basically just waiting for it to cool. And the crystals will form at the side and the bottom of the vessel. So you can see here, it just forms at all these other sides here. Okay, here as well, bottom as well. Uh, then you remove solvent via filtration. Okay, so if there's still solvent, uh, there's still water, you can do filtration one more time. And finally, you dry your crystals between sheets of filter paper because your crystals that you obtain uh, here are still a little wet, correct? So you, what you do, you can just dry it uh, with a piece of filter paper. Okay, then that will give you a, a very dry product. Okay, uh, some things to note here is that you will always have solute remain dissolved in the solvent. Basically, you cannot evaporate, uh, you cannot get everything out of your solvent. So you will always have, for example, this is your initial liquid, okay, with your salt inside. You will always, always only get uh, around uh, less than 100% of what you actually want. Okay, so when this all these salts precipitates, crystallizes, okay, you will always have some being stuck inside that cannot come out. And that is why it does not separate all the solute. And hence, you can just say that it's not 100%. Okay, you cannot get everything out of it. Okay, hopefully it's clear.